So this has been a highly requested video, but I didn't really know why. I don't personally think that Rode microphone sounds really all that exceptional, for the exception of the NT1A, and I expected even less from a USB microphone. But so many people have recommended this one, and they just seem so confident about this microphone. So I wanted to go ahead and give this a try. This is my review of the Rode NT-USB Mini. It is going to be honestly really good, microphone. It is probably as good as you've heard. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Before we continue, don't forget that I have a Twitch channel that you can go ahead and follow me on for live microphone reviews and much more than that. But you're also going to find my Instagram and a link to the text on the Discord in the description. So come join the community because it is a pretty cool one. We've also opened up a Patreon as of late where if you join, you'll be automatically entered to win one tech gadget every month in our exclusive giveaways. Details to that are going to be down below. Don't forget to check out the description for everything. Now let's get right into the video. So I'm going to be recording the entire review with this microphone so that you can hear what it sounds like for content creation. But I'm also going to be streaming with it tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern time so that you can ask all of your questions live. Links to my Twitch are going to be down below. So let's begin with an unboxing. It does come in this really nice looking box, which once opened, you will find the instructions on top and you're going to come across the USB-C cable and an adapter for mounting the microphone to an arm. You'll also find the microphone itself and even the base for it at the very bottom. The exterior design consists of plastic for this microphone. And as you've noticed, this thing is very small, so it definitely follows through on the mini moniker. It's a full matte black design that feels fine and terms of the texture, but in spite of this microphone size, it is quite hefty. And this microphone feels premium when you hold it in hand because of the weight, and you also get the headphone gain knob on the front with a clicking mechanism for turning on the monitoring and switching it off, of course, all things of the like. And then on the back, there's going to be a USB-C port and a headphone jack. Now this microphone also comes with a base in case you want to use this in tabletop. And this is a very cool base and you're going to see exactly why. Are you ready? It's magnetic. It's so cool, and I've never seen anything like it before. I dig it. So besides that revolutionary factor, this microphone is pretty good in terms of its build, and I don't really have much to complain about here, yet at least. And when it comes to the mounting mechanism, you've got the shock mount that allows for full rotations, and this is also very stiff, which I actually like quite a bit. And then on the bottom, there's going to be this piece of rubber that you can remove in order to install the adapter, then just go ahead and hook it up to a microphone arm. I appreciate that. I think that this microphone brings a lot of great things so far. And now this is a cardioid condenser microphone with a frequency response of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, which gives us access to the full frequency range. But with that aside, let's get into the sound test. And now, as I just said, we're going to get into the sound test. So this part is going to be done without any kind of background music or anything of the sort so that you can hear what this microphone actually sounds like for content creation. And yeah, this microphone sounds... Pretty good, actually. It seems to have a more neutral sound, but it does sound a little bit compressed, so the audio doesn't really come off as being very clean. However, the overall audio quality is pretty good, and I think that it will get across the, the natural sound of your voice pretty well. This microphone does stupidly well when it comes to plosives. And if you look carefully through the microphone grill, you're going to notice that it has a ton of padding, which I suspect is what is nullifying these plosives. But this is genuinely incredible, and it's one of the few microphones that I'm comfortable recommending that you use without a pop filter because that pop filter could very well get in the way for you. Or if you do, just use a very thin one. Either way, I really dig the sound quality on this microphone. And now this is what it's going to sound like from very close by. So this is for the proximity effect. Uh, most people will not be speaking into it this way. And now this is what it's going to sound like about one foot away from the microphone. And this is the kind of sound quality that you should be expecting. Now let's get into the monitoring test, and uh, is the monitoring experience accurate to what it records? The answer is no. 
This microphone does pretty well when it comes to sound rejection, but in the monitoring, you can hear it picking up the fridge that is all the way on the other side of the room, like all the way back there. But the recording isn't picking that up, so you're not getting an accurate representation, which can really throw you off if you think that there's too much noise going in and in, in the recording, you're not going to hear any of that much at all. So I'm really not, not a fan of that. They really should have worked on the monitoring aspect here. Now let's get into some of my complaints in my favorite section. Now this headphone gain knob should have been a microphone gain knob instead because I'm fine with just one headphone volume, but I would like to have the ability to adjust it on the microphone itself. The software, I really hate the Rode Connect software. The software gives you multiple channels to play around with, which might actually sound like it is pretty useful, but the thing is that it doesn't seem to work for me whatsoever. I could never get it to work properly, and it almost feels like the software is just very much unpolished. And it even feels like the software actually ruined the microphone a couple of times. Because sometimes when I would try to use the software in tandem with this microphone, it would completely freeze out the microphone and make it totally unusable. Like I simply could not use it with any software. And also, when the software and the microphone are active, you cannot use the button on the front to turn off monitoring or anything of the like it becomes obsolete. So honestly, don't bother downloading it because it only made the experience of using this microphone worse for no apparent reason. Now this microphone is not perfect and it's very obvious from the things that I mentioned earlier, which honestly is, is a shame. However, these are things that someone like me is bound to complain about and things that other people will gladly ignore or overlook. Most people won't think of downloading Rode Connect, but that's probably a moot point. And the monitoring aspect is more of a niche thing too that some of us care about, but not everyone will. But I think that this microphone is exactly what a lot of people say it is. And it's just a very good microphone. Just sounds very good for the money. If you just need straight up good audio quality and a great build even with fantastic plosives protection and even pretty decent sound rejection for a condenser microphone like this, then honestly, you've got a very strong recommendation from me because this thing is genuinely impressive. And this is probably the first USB microphone that I would recommend at that $100 price tag. And if you're interested in purchasing this microphone, then I'll be making sure to leave affiliate links down to Amazon in the description. I'm also going to be leaving links to Abunda, which is going to be a great service that is going to help you finance something like this. And I get it, like if you're on a budget or something like that, but still wanting to get this microphone, it is going to make it easier for you to pay it off over time and you don't need a credit card of your own. So links to that down below. Luster is also going to be a great tool if, if you need help looking for sales online. And if you want to see like what other microphones are being purchased as a alternative to this in case you're just curious. So links to that down below as well. And if you use any of my links and I get a small commission, that does help out the channel quite a bit. So I, I would appreciate that quite a bit. And also don't forget that we are actually going to be giving away a Rode NT USB mini on our Patreon. And that is going to be for the tier twos and the tier threes. So if you are interested in participating in the giveaway, then do make sure to stop by. Uh, we would very much appreciate it. And uh, you would have your chance to win yourself a Rode NT USB be many. So best of luck to you all. But speaking of Patreon, I wanted to give a very special thanks to all of our patrons, of course, and especially our tier three patrons. In that case, that is going to be Omar, Saad, Alwazel, and Joe Moss. Thank you so much for all of your help, and we do very much appreciate it. Your support goes a very long way. And now on to the rest of our patrons. And this is super important. I would just like to give a very special thanks to all of our patrons, which are going to be listed right here on the screen. Again, a massive thanks to you all for supporting us to help us create the kind of content that we bring to you on a day-to-day -day basis. And thank you so much for supporting at the Tech Summit podcast as well. And just remember that if you would like to be a part of this community too, and then do make sure to check out the links that to our Patreon, where you don't only get bonus episodes of our podcast, uh, but you also get automatically entered into one of our monthly giveaways of a tech product that we have reviewed uh, that is of at least $50 in value or higher. So links to that down below. And now don't forget about the rest of our social media, like my Twitch, my Instagram, and obviously the Patreon, but I've already mentioned that. But with that said, this has been Francisco from Tech Summit. Thank you for watching, and I will be seeing you all later. Enjoy.